Welcome to Electrum Online. Here's our second example of how to work out problems, F equals MA type of problems, using free body diagrams. But we're going to compare it again to the traditional method where we look at the whole system all at once. I'm not sure if it's a traditional method, but for me it is, because that's the method I prefer. So you look at the whole system, you determine which direction you think the acceleration is going to go, and then you only look at the external forces acting on the system. Now notice we do have the M1G acting downward, but then we have the table pushing back with the normal force in the opposite direction, also equal to M1G. So these two forces cancel each other out. We do have the tension, but that's an internal force to the system, so we ignore that. And then we are left with the force right here, the force of gravity acting on M2. And then we have the force of friction acting on M1. Notice they're in opposite directions relative to the acceleration. So now when we use the equation F net equals the total mass of the system times acceleration, and we solve that for the acceleration, realizing that the net force is going to be all the forces aiding minus all the forces opposing, divided by the sum of the masses. The force aiding is going to be the force in the same direction as acceleration, so that's going to be M2G. The force opposing is going to be the force in the opposite direction from acceleration, which is the friction force, M1G times mu divided by the total mass, and if we then factor out a g, we get a equals g times m2 minus m1 mu divided by m1 plus m2. Now we'll get the same answer using free body diagrams, although it's a little bit more work, but it's a safe fail method. So what you do is you look at each mass in the system and you look at all the forces act on each of the two masses. You also associate the acceleration with each of the two free body diagrams. And then realizing even though they point in a different direction, the magnitude will be the same. We only care about the direction for the individual free body diagram. We also realize that the magnitude of the tensions will be the same on both sides of the pulley. So this tension here must equal this tension there in magnitude. So again, we use the equation F net equals mass times acceleration. I guess we should do the same thing right here. F net equals mass 2 times acceleration, right? So we're going to use that methodology for each free body diagram separately. So starting with the first free body diagram, again we notice that these two forces cancel each other out. We have the force of gravity and then the table pushing back, so there's no acceleration in that direction. But then we have these two forces left. This force pulling to the right, this force pulling to the left. Now notice that the tension is always relative to the object that you're considering. So relative to M1 tension is to the right, relative to M2 tension is upward. So for this one right here, we have this is the aiding force because it's in the same direction as acceleration. This is the opposing force because it's, it's in the opposite direction of the acceleration. So when we have the net force, we have the aiding force minus the opposing force equals the mass times acceleration. And we solve this equation for T, the tension. We do the same thing on the second free body diagram. Notice that this force here, M2G, is in the same direction as acceleration. This force, the tension is in the opposite direction. So we have the aiding force minus the opposing force equals the mass times acceleration. Of course, in this case, it's M2. Solve that equation for T. Now we can set the two equations equal to each other. This T is equal to this T. So M1A plus M1G mu equals M2G minus M2A. And if we then solve this algebraically for A, we get the exact same answer. Takes a little bit more work, but you end up with the correct same answer. So again, if you don't need to use free body diagrams, this is much easier and quicker. If you need to use free body diagrams, then this is the way you want to do it. And that is how it's done.